Hi, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we provide essential tips to help you live smarter, safer, and more informed. Today, we're diving into an incredibly important topic, how to avoid scams that target social security recipients. If you're a senior, a family member, or a caregiver, this video is for you. We're going to cover the most common scams, how to recognize them, and ways to protect yourself or your loved ones from becoming a victim. So grab a cup of tea, sit back, and let's get started. In recent years, scammers have become more sophisticated in targeting social security recipients, especially seniors. According to the latest reports from the Federal Trade Commission, FT see these types of scams have grown significantly. It's not just phone calls anymore. Scammers are using emails, text messages, and even fake websites to steal social security numbers, SNs, and personal information. Over 70 million Americans receive social security benefits. In 2023 alone, over $1.3 billion was lost to fraud by Americans aged 60 plus. Social security scams rank as one of the top threats for seniors. But don't worry. Today, we're going to empower you with the knowledge and tools you need to stay safe and avoid falling for these scams. Let's start with the most common scams that target Social Security recipients. Knowing how these scams work is the first step in preventing them. This is one of the most common scams. You receive a phone call from someone pretending to be from the Social Security Administration, SSA. The caller ID may even show Social Security Administrations or a Washington D. C. Area code. The scammer will tell you that your Social Security number has been compromised, stolen or suspended, and that immediate action is required. They'll ask for your Social Security number, demand payment or threaten you with arrest if you don't comply. Remember, the Social Security Administration will never call and ask for your SSN over the phone or threaten you with arrest. Scammers may also send emails or texts claiming to be from the SSA. These messages might say something alarming, like your benefits will be suspended or there's an error with your account. They will often include a link or attachment asking you to verify your social security number. Do not click any links or provide personal information in response to these emails or texts, the SSA will never ask for sensitive information this way. Scammers are now creating fake websites that look almost identical to the official Social Security Administration website. They lure you in with fake ads or links in emails. Once you're on the site, they'll ask for your personal details, like your SSA and birth date, or even credit card information. Always double check the URL, and make sure you're on the official site, which is sa.gov if you're unsure. Type the address directly into your browser instead of clicking on a link. Now that we know the most common scams, let's talk about how you can protect yourself. There are a few simple steps that can make a huge difference in safeguarding your personal information. Anytime you receive an unsolicited call, email, or text about your social security benefits, be skeptical. Scammers often create a sense of urgency, but remember, the SSA will never ask for your personal information through unsolicited communication. Another way to protect yourself is by using strong, unique passwords for your SSA online account and enabling two-factor authentication. This means that even if a scammer somehow gets your password, they'll need a second piece of information like a code sent to your phone, to access your account. Make it a habit to regularly check your social security statement for any suspicious activity. You can do this online through your My Social Security account. Look for any unusual earnings records or changes that you didn't authorize. Don't just throw away documents that contain your social security number or personal details. Shred them to make sure no one can steal your information from your trash. Scammers sometimes use this method to piece together enough information to steal your identity. Identity theft is a major concern for Social Security recipients. 
If someone gets a hold of your social security number, they could apply for loans, open credit cards, or even claim your social security benefits. Be vigilant about monitoring your credit report. You can get a free report from annualcreditreport.com. Review it for any accounts or transactions you don't recognize. If you suspect identity theft, freeze your credit and report the incident immediately to the Federal Trade Commission, FTC. Now let's say the worst has happened and you think you've been scammed. Don't panic. Here's what you should do right away. Next, file a complaint with the FTC at reportfraud.fdc.gov. They track fraud cases and provide resources to help you recover from identity theft. If you gave out your social security number or other personal information, contact one of the three credit bureaus Equifax, Experian or TransUnion and freeze your credit. This will prevent scammers from opening new accounts in your name. Before we wrap up, here are a few final tips to keep in mind. Tip 1. Never give out your social security number unless absolutely necessary. Tip 2. Be cautious of anyone asking for payment via gift cards or wire transfers. This is a huge red flag. Tip 3. Stay informed. The more you know about current scams, the better prepared you'll be. To help you stay informed, we've included a list of resources in the description below, including links to the official SSA website, the FTC's fraud reporting page, and more. Thanks for tuning in today. Protecting your personal information is incredibly important, and we hope this video has empowered you with the knowledge to stay safe from social security scams. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tips on how to live smarter and safer. Until next time, take care and stay safe.